Thank you, Brett, and good evening. Tonight, the White House confirms that a plot to coincide with the one-year anniversary of the bin Laden raid has been thwarted. A short time ago, in a rare and detailed statement, the FBI said the device is similar to the bombs made by al-Qaeda in Yemen, which include the underwear bomb which failed to bring down a U.S. jet on Christmas Day in 2009. The device was seized before a suicide bomber in Yemen bought his airline ticket, and forensic analysis is being done to confirm that both bombs were made by the same Saudi bomb maker. U.S. officials describe Ibrahim al-Asiri as their top target in Yemen. He is considered one of the best bomb makers working today because he uses non-metallic explosives that evade traditional airline screening. This device does not contain metal, and there are improvements to the detonation mechanism. In a statement, the White House is vague on the timing, saying, quote, the president was first informed about the plot in April by his Homeland Security and Counterterrorism Advisor John Brennan, and he has received regular updates and briefings. Yet three days before the anniversary of the bin Laden raid, Brennan stated, As we've said publicly, there is no credible reporting right now that there is an active plot underway to, to coincide with the anniversary of the bin Laden takedown. And in a briefing to coincide with the anniversary, Fox News asked a senior counterterrorism official if another device had been picked up, and it was denied. Quote, I'm not familiar with the report you just cited of another bomb in the last six months. So nothing's been intercepted or picked up? Not that I know of, no. And tonight on Capitol Hill, senior committee members and staffers told Fox that they had not been briefed on the plot or the device. And just moments ago, the Secretary of Defense confirmed that it was a classified, highly classified information, operation rather, and that he had no further comment at this time, Brett. Captain, that is a bit unusual for the Senate Intelligence Chair, uh, <laughs> Dianne Feinstein, to say that she was briefed 30 minutes ago mm -hmm. about something that now a statement says the president was briefed about in April, there seems to be this disconnect of who knew what when. I think there are uh, several disconnects uh, tonight that were very early in our reporting. I spoke to another uh, committee chairman a short time ago, and he was still waiting to get his brief uh, on, this, uh, on this plot in Yemen. The other thing that I find quite striking is that the White House is being very vague on the timing at which the president knew about the plot from the White House counterterrorism advisor John Brennan. And just to highlight, on April 27th, Fox News asked specifically, because we had heard there had been some event overseas, if something had been picked up, and that was categorically denied, Brett. And quickly, one would assume that Brennan would be the person who would have briefed Brennan's the president. Brennan's the point guy for all this stuff. Absolutely. Okay. Catherine, thank you. More on this with the panel.